Hello everybody, good afternoon. My name is Sarah Nilsson, the singing costumer, and welcome to another edition of D Stash the Dash. Today is Sunday, January 20, 24th, and I am getting ready for a busy few days here, but yesterday I had an audition for a play, and today I have a callback, so I'm very excited about that. So I just have a little bit of time to get some, some sewing in. So I was making another one of these hats, like I said last week. So far I have this much done. I have to tie off all the darts and, and trim the threads, then that'll be ready. Then I have to do the same thing to the inner lining. You see all these pins are marking where I have to sew darts. But this is gonna be the inside, the lining. So I'll go ahead and get started on that now real quick. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say right now, so let's get to work. Hello everybody, good evening. It's about a quarter to eight on Sunday night. I got home from a call back for that audition and then I made myself some dinner and now I'm just about to do a little bit more work on my little wool hat. It's so cute. So I have the inside all made up here. Now the lining of course will be inside out so this is what you see when you look inside the hat. And this is the outside of the hat, of course. It's not quite right, but we'll, we'll finish it. I'm going to give it a quick press first, and then I will probably baste the two layers together, and that might be as far as I get tonight. We'll see. We'll see. Hello, it is about 8.45 now and I had to charge the camera battery real quick so I didn't get to show my sewing but I finished the hat. It's so cute. I love it. It has a little 
brooch on there, just pinned it on there just for fun. I think it's super cute. You can see the lining and just a little ribbon I had in the stash. We're using stash materials, so all the purples don't match exactly, but it's okay. You don't really see the other purples when you're wearing it, so this is good enough for me. I, I will sign off for today, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, a little bit after 10, and I am wearing the hat I finished last night. It's so cute. It's held on with a hat pin. I had this tiny little butterfly charm. It broke off of something I don't remember. And I decided to buy... It's a little hard to get the hat pin back on, so I'll just, I'll just leave it right here for now. Um, I bought the little hat pin blank at the Hobby Lobby. And then I just glued the little charm. It's so cute. I like it. I like cute things, apparently. So, I also have this scarf out of the matching purple wool to the hat. I made this on Saturday, I believe. It shows in the illustrations that you're supposed to tie it. I prefer it with this little brooch. But it shows you're supposed to just knot it once like this. I don't know, that's, that looks weird to me and it doesn't stay nice and flat. I don't like it. So I'll probably always be wearing it like this and then pinned with the brooch. So today I have only a little time that I can um, do some sewing work. So I decided I would make some pajama pants out of this piece of uh, flannel from my stash. I think I have like not very many pieces left so this is good. I'm very excited. I've had this in my stash for forever. If you're in the crafting or home decor world like was it five years ago like chevrons were everywhere like everybody wanted chevrons so i decided to get in on that so it's been in my stash since since then so i'm very excited to actually be making something out of it which is good so i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can at least cut out the pieces before i have to work on my music stuff and eat lunch and get ready to go to work let's go
So as you saw in that last clip, I went ahead and surged them real quick and I have pants. I mean, they don't have elastic and they're not hemmed, but they're pants. Literally took less than 10 minutes to surge the whole thing. So I may have a pair of pajama pants before I go to work after all. But right now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go grab something to eat, but I'm very pleased. That took no time at all. Why haven't I been using my serger? Why? Somebody tell me why. Don't be scared of your serger. Just learn how to do it, or watch a few tutorials, and then just do it. It's so fast. Do it. Just do it. Okay, I'm gonna go grab something to eat. Everybody, good evening. It is Monday evening, and I got a little bit done on the on the pants after work today. I have the elastic set in the waistband. It's just ready for me to try and make sure this is a good size. And I have the hem on the pant legs pinned up. I don't know for sure if this is a good length on the hem, so I'm gonna try it on once I finish the waistband in the morning. And I'll see if this is a good length. If not, I'll, you know, shorten, shorten it, lengthen it, whatever. But that is a job for tomorrow. So I will see you in the morning. Bye. Hello, everybody. Good morning. It is January 26th, Tuesday. And I just finished with my music work for today and my chores for the day. So now I get to have some sewing time. I just checked the waist and the hem length, and so I'm just about to finish this up. I'm so excited. They're so cute. Isn't that a cute pattern? I love it. So, let's sew, sew the elastic and close the elastic and then sew the hems and then put these in the drawer because that's where they belong, in the drawer. Unless I wear them tonight, which I might because they're so cute and cozy. I love them. We'll see, but let's finish them first. The pajama pants are completely done and I have all this left over so what am I gonna do with it I'm going to cut out some baby Burke brags because you can never have too many baby gifts you know nieces nephews friends you know somebody's always having a baby so I'm gonna make some um, baby Burke brags and then if there are tiny enough scraps uh, I think it was made for mermaids patterns. I think it was made for mermaids. Had a little uh, facial scrub. It's just just a little circle instead of um, disposable like cotton cotton balls or the cotton rounds. You can use these instead and you know not use something that's disposable. So I'm gonna see how many I can cut out of that. Right. So. I'll get as much as I can out of these scraps, but I'm not going to be afraid to throw it away either because, you know, you just have to think about it. You only pay, you know, you pay so much for fabric. Just, you know, cotton flannel in, in particular is what I'm talking about. You can get it on sale for like two or four or six dollars a yard. 
why do we save tiny itty bitty scraps? No. So I'm going to do as much as I can and cut out as many burp rags and little facial rounds as I can and then I'm just going to toss the rest away and I will be completely out of this fabric and it'll be out of my stash. So I'm very, very pleased with this progress. So, all right. Everybody. So I grabbed some lunch here at the house, but I cut out 12 sets of this um, facial round is what they call it. I think 10 should be plenty, but I still have a few more scraps left. So I may sew these up and then see if I want to cut up the rest of the scraps. I don't know. I did throw away a lot though. I used up a lot and then threw away tiny, tiny scraps. But yeah. So I am just about to get ready to head to work here in a little bit. But I just thought I'd come see. Thought I'd come and show you. There's ten. I think ten should be plenty. <laughs> so what you do is you get a terry cloth, or I'm just gonna go to Walmart and get one of their cheap towels and then that is on the opposite side so you get a nice washcloth on one side and these are tiny little handles almost you put your hand in I'll have to show you when it's done but these are little handles basically so anyway yes I will have to go to work and I might work a little bit more on this when I get home tonight maybe maybe not we'll see but I'll see you later. Hello everybody. It is a little bit after 9 o'clock on Tuesday evening. And I just came to say good night to you all. I'm not going to do any more sewing work tonight. I'm just going to uh, watch some TV and go to bed. So I will see you probably on Thursday. So, good night. Hello everybody, it's about 5.30 um, on Thursday, January 28th. I meant to come and get some sewing done this afternoon after I got home from work. I switched shifts with somebody today. 
but we had a possible exposure to a certain illness and so I got sent home everybody got sent home and I just wanted to do something silly and fun so I dressed up in my Wendy Darling from Peter Pan cosplay and I added a few accessories to make it uh, Regency inspired and I did a little piano piece as a Bridgerton character I guess you would I guess you would say but it was fun and then I, I did a couple pictures and then I did some Instagram reels so that was that was fun like stay tuned you'll see the the piano piece and all the other all the other nonsense here shortly but yeah I think I'm gonna start sewing now um I have all these little handles ready I think I can't decide if I'm going to top top stitch them on the sides or not I think I am. I think they look a little polished and very nice. So I think I'm going to top stitch these and then maybe by that time my uh, roommate will be home so we can make dinner and eat. And then tomorrow I'm going to go shopping I think. I don't know. Should I? Should I really do it? I don't know. But I wanted to get a matching hand towel for these because you're supposed to have one side your fabric and then the other side is backed with um, like a towel or a washcloth a terry cloth material so you can just wash your face like that so I don't know I probably shouldn't just in case I don't know we'll see but I'm going to do a little bit of sewing right now anyway so let's do it And that is what happens, dear viewers, when you have a cat in the room and you leave your chair for five minutes. Carry on. Hey everybody, it's about nine o'clock and I finished baking. I decided I wanted to bake a little mini pie, so I did and it's cooling now. Anyway, I ate dinner. And I now have all my little face scrubbies. So cute. I like it. I think it's going to be very handy. You can just easily, easily hold it like that. I like it. So I have ten. I have ten of them. I think that's basically a lifetime supply of these little face scrubbers. So I'm going to cut the blog here for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hey everybody, it's about nine o'clock on Thursday night. I made dinner. I just baked a pie. So I'm gonna go eat pie here in a few minutes. But I just wanted to come and say good night and show you all the little face scrubs that I have so far. They have a little handle. Put your hands in and you just scrub your face like that. It'll be so nice. I have 10 of them, which I think is basically a lifetime supply of these, so I think I'm going to be good for quite a while. I'll be set for quite a while. So I will see you guys in the morning. I'll say goodnight. Hello everybody, welcome. It's about 3.30 on Friday, January 29th. I meant to get on here earlier, but you know, life happens. I was doing errands and then I was practicing music. So, I went to Walmart to get a towel for the backing of the facial rounds and the baby burp cloths that I was making. Now, I don't have um, 
any particular recipient in mind for the baby, the baby burp claws. I'll just probably keep them until, you know, an occasion arises, until a baby comes in the family or a friend or something. So I'll probably just keep those, but I'm almost ready to get these little facial scrubs done. And I mean, they're going to be cute, but they're just a little fiddly and annoying and I won't even be able to wear them. So it's kind of like, mm, what's the point? But I know I will use them. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. Hello everybody, it's about a quarter to eight now on Friday evening and boy am I having a wild evening tonight. We got some sewing done. These are so cute. This is like way too many little face scrubs. Like how many faces do I have? I have one face. So, but they're so cute. And all you do, you see you slip your fingers in there and you can just scrub away all the makeup and everything. I love it. I think they're so cute. And now I'm going to do some burp claws over here. Like I said before, I don't know what baby's going to burp on these, but I will get these done and give them for baby gifts or... I don't know what babies, but some babies somewhere, so.
everybody good evening it's a little bit later on friday night but i just wanted to come by and say i finished the baby burp rag so cute an adorable print on one side and a practical absorbent towel on the other side so i think they're adorable i think they're perfect so i'm going to cut the vlog here and I'm going to go to bed and then I'm going to edit this vlog tomorrow on Saturday. I think this next week I won't be doing a de-stash de the stash vlog. I think I'll wait a week just to give myself a little bit of a break because I've been doing stuff at a breakneck speed I feel like. So I'm going to take a break. I might work on something but it's... I'm. I may show you what it is, I may not. I don't even know. I have no plans for next week. I think I'm going to just take a little bit of break though. But I do want to post a music video that I recorded yesterday. So um, I played piano in a Regency costume. So hopefully I'll get that for next week. But I think, uh, I think that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, for commenting. I, it, it really encourages me that people actually want to hear what I have to say. It makes me feel so good and it makes me feel good that you actually do like what you see. Like you're getting enjoyment out of it as well. So that, that means the world to me. So please like, comment, subscribe, uh, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Constructive criticism. Constructive being the operative word here. See you next time. Bye.